The odds of getting into Harvard are pretty slim. Every year, about 40,000 people apply, but only about 5% actually end up getting in. And one group is taking Harvard to court, saying the odds are even worse if you're Asian American. It's a case that could impact affirmative action policy across the country. Here's what you need to know. Students for Fair Admissions says Harvard discriminates against Asian American applicants in favor of accepting more Latino, black, and white students. Harvard says that's not true, but diversity is an important goal. While race does factor into the admissions process, Harvard insists it's one of many factors. The case is pretty complicated, but here are three debates we can expect to play out. The first, Harvard's freshman classes appear pretty similar from year to year. Plaintiffs say that means Harvard has a quota system, which is illegal. Harvard denies that, and admissions data we reviewed shows that in recent years, more Asian American applicants have been admitted to Harvard's freshman classes. The second argument focuses on academic performance. Take the SATs. According to the plaintiff's analysis, Asian Americans score higher than every other demographic group. So, based on academics alone, plaintiffs argue Harvard would accept twice as many Asian Americans. But the university says it takes more than good grades to get in. The third argument focuses on those intangible elements of an application. At Harvard, applicants get a personal rating, which is based on non-academic qualities. And the plaintiffs claim Asian Americans consistently get lower personal scores than other ethnic groups. But Harvard disputes that and says the plaintiffs aren't accurately considering how things like essays, letters of recommendation, public service, and even facing adversity are weighed in the admissions process. So is this discrimination? Right now, that question is in front of a Massachusetts federal court. But ultimately, it's expected that the Supreme Court will have the final say.